It's spooky time. As of recording this, it is October 1st, and that means it's officially a good time for me to make the excuse of me playing some horror-themed mods. We got Herobrine, we got sea creatures, and we got Phasmo in Minecraft. So, when in doubt, let's begin. And a fresh new world and a fresh new start. Nothing scary going on in this world, I can tell you that. I haven't started a new world in forever. So apparently Herobrine is supposed to be coming anytime now. He could be right there. He could be right there. I don't know. I don't know anything about these mods. I don't know if he's going to attack me. I don't know if he's just going to watch me. But I should prepare for the worst, which means uh, that he's going to attack me. Let's go up here. Here, Brian, wouldn't come to the cherry blossom bio, Moody. No, no way. Wow, that's a uh, hole. Let's get some more wood, I guess. We got to start making a little temporary house type thing. And if you guys know me at all, you know that I'm a builder at heart, so I can't make some crappy crap. So also something that I have not thought about at all. I need food. I need to kill some stuff. So like I said, we're going to make a small little house. Probably right here, actually. That's a zombie over there. That actually made my, not my heart jump, but like my eyes like, whoa, what is that? Why am I making such a big house right now? <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Just a sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna make the, just the cutest freaking house. How are you supposed to haunt a cute freaking house here, Brian? And so Stu continued to build his cute house, anticipating when Hero Brian will show any sign of his existence. And not after long, the next night began to fall and Stu began losing his mind. Chicken, chicken, get out of there. Get out of there, chicken, you're gonna die. That poor guy. Rest in peace, chicken. Okay. Chicken? I'm not hearing chicken anymore. Something's moving. It's moving, but it's not making any sound, which makes me think that's here, Brian. Oh, it's just a spider. Daytime. We're gonna go get some glass. Where's the best place to get sand? Uh, down there looks pretty good. And just finished the windows in time. So my plan today, get some water and climb down that hole. See if we can get anything good. Hopefully not die. Water achieved. This could go one of two ways. I live and get rich or I die. So let's hope it's the ladder. No, 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 not the ladder. Stu began to make his way down this deep, dark cave, wanting diamonds, iron, and coal. Only having a single torch and basic tools to his name, he pushed forward fighting creatures, finding materials, finding diamonds. But he soon will find something that does not seem to be correct. Something that does not fit in this world. Something that he has been waiting for. What? That's not possible. That actually might be my first sign of fear, Brian. Whoa, and this is like dug out. This is not possible. Redstone torches cannot be in the middle of nowhere. All right. Uh, two things. Kind of creepy. And the other thing is I'm glad the mod is actually working. Because for, for a bit, I didn't even know. I'm going to take your torch. My torch now, Mr. Hero, Brian. What are you going to do about it? He jump scares me and kills me. So he can affect the world. He can place torches and I am lost in this massive cave. Whoa. Uh, okay. There's another torch here. Am I following breadcrumbs? No, I have no clue what's going on right now. I don't see him, though. Those ca new caves can get confusing. Chicken! He's still alive. What's going on, buddy? And horse. All right, home sweet home. I swear if there's a redstone torch in my house, I'm going to lose it. Home sweet home. <laughs> Home sweet home to a, to a house with no roof. Oh, I got put on shaders again. There you go. <laughs> this is this is a sad life I'm living right now. <laughs> oh man. We found two evidences of Hero Brian being in the world, which makes me happy, showing that the mod is actually working. But I did read that it take does take like three days for you to start seeing signs of him. I don't see him anywhere out there right now. Is that something? Nah. I'm just gonna say it's a tree. All right. I think it's time to start working on a roof. <laughs> yep. Back inside, back inside. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was risking it for no reason. Yeah, I see you. Hey there, man. Ah! Get away from my house! 
What the f <sighs> I'm gonna have to bleep out that word. Alright, I'm gonna go inside. Don't forget to plant your saplings. <sighs> Alright. You good? You good over there, buddy? Chicken's okay. Chicken's okay. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting jump scares. That was a full on jump scare. That actually got me good. Cause at this point, you know, that was the first time we saw him. Oh, I'm guessing things are gonna start amping up now. Go away here, Brian. You're not welcome here. You know what? I'm making a sign. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Maybe, maybe having a roof. <laughs> I know it's an Enderman, but is that an Enderman? <laughs> it's an Enderman. Oh. See, I told you this time would work. Today we keep cottage coring because that is the only thing I know how to do. Holy! Hey, buddy, how you doing on this fine day? He does not like cottage core, but I will, I will not stop. Okay, here, Brian. <sighs> He's starting to amp up. I told you, it's just gonna get worse now. And Stu did not stop cottage coring. Although the build is as basic as can be, he hopes that the power of the cottage core will be enough to keep Sir Hero Brian away. And for the most part, he was right. While building out the main core of the roof, there was only one instance where he made an appearance. Was that him? It must have been. That was a very subtle one. I just saw, I only saw his legs, his pantalones. I saw your pantalones, sir. Why is he on my roof? Get off my roof, man. I'm almost done with the roof. I just gotta push through. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling cottage quarry. We definitely need more work, though. Well. You silly little goose. That didn't actually get me that bad that time. <laughs> you little devil. He's admiring my beautiful pink house. So I'm honestly starting to think here, Brian can't actually hurt me. He's kind of just a jump scare. <laughs> I'm using cheaty cam to see how many slabs I need. One, two, three, four, five. And he's watching me. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I cheated. No. He's still out there? Nope, he's gone. That's. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah, I cheated. I cheated. No. I messed up his scare prank. I like it. It's not bad. Could do like a little pond here. Now I'm just decorating this guy. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm having fun and I'd like, it's a little scary here and there, but I feel like 90% of the time I'm just building like I normally would. All right. I think I'm gonna call it for this mod here. I have finished my house, which was like not necessarily the goal, but ended up being the goal. We got some jump scares here and there. Honestly, this mod is super cool. So yeah, I definitely would like this mod, but I think it's time to move on to the next one. What the heck is that? Is that a dead player? Okay, kind of gross. So this mod basically adds horrific elements to the woods when you're just walking around like whatever, whatever this is. What is this? It's a bear trap. Cool. I can pick it up. What the? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it just adds horrific elements to the woods. Is that a dead cow over here? No. Oh, why? Why is my immediate response to chop it? Okay. What is that? Oh my. Who did that to my zombie friend? Yeah, that's basically all this mod does. Definitely horrific, if you ask me. Hold on, guys. I just found something interesting. I did not think they were going to add whole structures into this world, but this is a whole structure. And I don't know what's at the top. Is this dangerous in here? Oh. Why did it turn nighttime and uh, rain? Okay. Got some blood on the ground. We got a totem, like, like the forest. Whoa. Whoa, this is a child friendly channel. What, what the, what the heck? Who did this? Yeah, I think this is a little bit too dark for uh, this uh, channel. Okay, <laughs> let's get out of here. Next mod. 
on this channel, I once played a game called Dredge. This was before my Minecraft era. I loved that game a lot. And this mod basically is Dredge. It adds sea creatures and stuff to the world when it is thunderstorming. I mean, there's not that much to explore in this, but I think I'm just gonna go fight every monster I can. All right, I figured I should test how deadly these little guys actually are before I jump down down there with a full good gear set. So let's see how bad these guys actually are. Oh, it changes my brightness. Okay, these guys are obviously murdering. I wanted to see if they attack in the boat. I'm not hearing anything yet. Oh, oh, it does attack me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do quite a lot of damage. All right, let's get out of the boat and see what this is like underwater. Whoa. All right, there is some crazy mobs. Whoa, 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 whoa. And they do quite a lot of damage. By a mohast. What the freak is a mohast? Very interesting. I do like the fog effect. I think that def it reminds me a lot of Dredge, actually. All right, let's go ahead and pull up. Put on some armor and fight these losers. All right. They're not as strong as I honestly thought they were going to be. Oh, it's turning nighttime. Is that a monument over there? Yes, it is. All right, let's get back in here. Who do we want? Who has to die next? I don't know what that thing is, but it's creepy. Oh, God. It is so dark out now. Ah, it's a pufferfish. I would have died to a pufferfish. All right, I won't lie, I do have some OP freaking armor, but this is pretty easy so far, other than the pufferfish. He's the only one giving me trouble. Oh, here we go. All right, pretty cool. All right, like I said, I was OP in gear and stuff. I do kind of wish they were a little bit stronger, or maybe they do have stronger creatures that I just did not have the patience to find. Pretty cool mod, adding pretty cool creatures. I do think, I wish they dropped something cooler than just fish. I mean, it's a pretty rare occurrence to have a thunderstorm, and then you have to go to the ocean and fight these bad boys to get whatever they're cooking. So I kind of wish that there was more to give other than fish. I don't know. Pretty cool mod, though. All right, on to the next mod. Sanity, descent into madness. So yeah, this whole mod is basically, you gotta keep your sanity up. I did not look up how to do that. And if you don't keep your sanity up, you'll probably die. Oh God, there's auto jump on. No, 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 no. All right, killing animals does a lot to your sanity. I did see one thing online and that you can make a flower like head thing to keep your sanity in check. And there is just randomly enough flowers to do that. Okay, I'll take it. There you go, that's what we're looking for. Oh, I look so cute. Oh, I'm so beautiful. So that should heal my sanity or something. I don't know. I don't know the specifics of this mod. But unlike from the fog, I probably won't focus on building a house this time. I just want to see what this mod's about. So I'll probably just build like a dirt hut. Maybe go caving. Also, I couldn't get shaders to work again. So is this game basically because every time we kill an animal, we lose sanity? Is this just a vegan game? This is a game promoting vegan. Just being in water gives me sanity drop. Okay, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Not cool. All right, we got some iron. What was that? <laughs> Currently trying to find a single spot that has no moms on it so I can dig a hole. I wonder if giving myself a torch or lighting it up around here. Oh yeah, that fixes my sanity. Perfect. Nothing too crazy has happened so far. I think there was one time where something popped up but I was not paying attention. All right, I basically dug forever and we did not hit a single cave. I'm not gonna lie, this mod is super cool but this is also a long-term mod I feel like. Like, currently I don't see how I'm going to be able to get zero sanity. So I think for the fun of it and because I don't want to play an entire survival world right now, I'm just gonna go swimming and see what happens when I lose all my sanity. See, there's a boat over there. We're gonna go play with that. Oh, interesting. My world is getting like, like I'm kind of going insane. This could get intense, I can tell you that right now. Maybe once you hit a certain threshold, you just can't fix yourself, you're screwed. No, I'm not going down anymore. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> can I fight him? Can I attack him? 
What if I go over to him? Well, I can hit him. I don't think I could kill him, though. Hey, 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 hey! That's a trident guy. I'm basically at zero sanity now. He's coming! No! No! You stay back! Yeah, you can't catch me! You're an idiot! I am fully zero sanity right now. Can I even hit you? How much damage did they do? Insta death! Okay. <laughs> Alright. That that's crazy. That's actually really cool. I feel like if I played a full series or something where like I'm not just trying to re look at the mod and see what it's about, that could be really cool. I think that's gonna be it for me checking out this mod. Alright, on to the next mod. Oh, I am so excited for this. Phasmophobia in Minecraft. If you did not know this about me, I love Phasmophobia. Top five games of all time for me. Way too many hours in that game. It is seriously one of my favorite games of all time. And I've never played it in Minecraft. So I was just gonna, gonna press start, I guess. We <laughs> have yeah, nothing. That's awesome. Whoa. Oh, we gotta go Tanglewood. Tanglewood is like the most favorite map ever. We gotta go Tanglewood. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get in here and play this. This looks like Tanglewood. Whoever built this did a fantastic job. Welcome to Tanglewood. While this neighborhood may seem quiet, reports of violent supernatural encounters have been frequent. Stay vigilant and keep on your toes. Okay, what do we got? We got a thermometer, spirit box, camera, EMF reader I'm a big fan of, and the thermometer I guess we'll bring. This is so cool. So this is a hiding spot. They did really well at building this. They even got the little boots in here. Oh my god, that's that's such an attention to detail. I feel like I'm actually going to love this. This is combining two of my favorite games of all time. Okay, got EMF four, and the phone is ringing. I didn't know they could do that. That's so sick. So I got EMF2 here. Wraith, I don't know how in detail this can go. Because Wraith is able to teleport with an EMF2 in the real game. So is that what he just did? And what is this? Oh, is it freezing breath? It's freezing temps. Ah. Okay, so it's freezing temps. I was wondering what that smoke was. I'm actually loving this so much. <laughs> uh, evidence. We got freezing temps. Yes, we do. All right, we can go in spirit box. We should put the book down as fast as possible. Probably positive that you have to turn off the lights still. All right, we got we got spirit box. Perfect. That's a perfect spot too. Let's go check for ghost orbs. So let's turn off the lights. Let's go in the truck. Let's see how that works. I'm very curious how that's gonna look. I'm not seeing any ghost orbs yet. You have three. Only three? Yeah, only EMF three. Honestly, if we wait for a hunt and then check the UVs. Like, I don't know what it looks like on the door. If it even goes on the door. I'm at 19%, so it definitely can hunt. The fact that it's not, like I said, I don't know how detailed it is. They have shade here and shades are very quiet ghost, which it's been pretty quiet. It's not supposed to be able to hunt for a very long time. I don't remember the exact number. EMF5 goes running ghost orbs. It is not possible. <laughs> it's not a shade. Maybe it's a mare. It hasn't done much since we turned on the lights. I'm just saying we turn off the lights and we got an EMF immediately. It's only three though. This really does remind me of Phasmophobia. <laughs> Waiting around wondering what the heck is the ghost doing? Ghost, you better not be wandering out here. There's no way... This game is that good. Yeah, it was a Wraith Mare Demon. I don't have any salt, sadly, to put down for Wraith. I honestly don't think it's a demon. I think it could be Mare. If the second abilities are an actual thing. Oh, it's hunting. No! No! No, you little crapid! How do you hide? Is there a way to hide? No! What? I'm gonna say it was a mare. I'm calling it right now. Can we see? Can we see? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, man. I am already addicted to this, so please tell me you want to see more in the comments of this. I'm going to move on before I play this for 14 hours. But yeah, let me know if you want to see more of this, because I will absolutely play it. And if I can figure out how to do multiplayer as well, yeah. 
we're absolutely going to try to play it. Thank you all so much for watching. This was so much fun. I love horror. I love horror mods. I love horrific things. So this was just a huge blast for me, especially Phasmo. Seriously though, if you want to see me continue any of these series, like continue playing on the Herobrine world, or just me playing more of the Phasmo mod, or if you guys want to just see me play with more random mods, let me know and I will probably do it. Also, let me know what your favorite horror movie is in the comments. Mine is It from 2017 is probably my favorite horror movie or Friday the 13th part 6 to be exact. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Happy spooky season and I will see you guys all in a bit. Peace!